email invoices using Microsoft Outlook. If you're using Microsoft Outlook, invoices and credit notes can be emailed immediately from Sage 50 accounts using one of the layouts with email settings already applied. Before emailing invoices to your customers, check each customer record has a valid email address entered. To do this, from the Customers module, select a customer record and click Edit. Enter any email address details here. Up to six email addresses can be entered for each customer. To confirm you communicate with this customer by email, select this checkbox. To save the changes, click Save. Repeat the process for any other customer records required. Once you're done, to close the customer record, click Close. From the Invoices and Credits module, any invoices for customers you've chosen to communicate with by email will show Email in the column Email or Print. This makes it easy to identify which records should be printed and which emailed. Invoices and credit notes can be emailed from the invoice or credit note record or from the invoices and credits list. If you need another copy of an invoice or credit note, it can be emailed again. Let's first look at how to email an invoice or credit note from its record. To do this, from the Invoices and Credits module, to open a record, select it from the list and click Edit. To select a layout, from the toolbar, click Print. To view all layouts, select the Layouts folder. Invoice layouts with email in their name already have email settings applied for Microsoft Outlook. All other layouts will need email settings applied manually. For more information on this, please visit the Sage Help Centre. To view the email layouts, from the filter drop-down, select either of the options containing the word email. In this example, my layout is in the Favourites folder, so I'll select the layout from here. To preview the invoice before emailing, from the main toolbar, click Preview. To email the invoice, click Email. If the email generates successfully, this message appears. To close the message, click OK. To close the Layouts window, click here. If the invoice has not been updated to the ledgers, a window appears prompting you to do so. To update the invoice, click OK. To update the invoice later, click Cancel. To return to the Invoices and Credits list, click Close. Please note, emailing from the Print option updates the printed column rather than the emailed column. We'll learn how the emailed column is updated later. Let's open Microsoft Outlook to see the email generated. In the Drafts folder, an email is waiting to be sent. The To option displays the email address from the customer record. Further email addresses can be added manually if required. The Subject displays the company name and the invoice number being emailed. When a credit note or pro forma is emailed, the wording changes appropriately. The invoice is attached in PDF format with the company name and invoice number. To check the attachment before sending, from the drop down, click Open. Default text displays in the email body. This can be manually edited or removed. To customise this wording to make it bespoke to your business, please visit the Sage Help Centre. Once you're happy with the content, to send the email, click Send. The email moves from the Drafts to the Sent Items folder. Let's now look at how to email from the Invoices and Credit Notes list. 
From the Invoices and Credits module, select the record or records you'd like to email. To select a single invoice or credit note record, click on it. To select a sequential batch of records, click on the first record, then hold down the Shift key on the keyboard and select the last record. Everything in between the first and last selection is also selected. To select a non-sequential batch of records, click on the first record, then hold down the Control key on the keyboard between selections. On the toolbar, there are two emailing options, Print and Email. We'll learn about the email option later. To select an invoice layout, click Print. To view all layouts, select the Layouts folder. If your layout is shown in the Favourites folder, select your required layout from here instead. To preview the selected records before emailing, from the main toolbar, click Preview. To email the selected records, click Email. If the emails generate successfully, this message appears. To close the message, click OK. To return to the Invoices and Credits list, click here. Please note, emailing from the Print option updates the Printed column rather than the Emailed column. We'll learn how the Emailed column is updated later. By default, any emails generated from Sage50 accounts are sent to the Microsoft Outlook Drafts folder and must be sent manually. Emails can be sent immediately from the software by changing the Sending option in the invoice layout. For more information on this, please visit the Sage Help Centre. You've now learned how to email invoices and credit notes using Microsoft Outlook.